Hello everyone. So today let us take a look at this question on the community and uh, this question is about reporting and uh, I thought I'll probably cover this and make a video because many people want to do something similar and uh, I think uh, when you're using Jira, especially if you're a new Jira user or if you just started uh, working on a project, you may want to do this and this is an interesting uh, use case. Uh, now the question from Vinay is that I need to display in multiple problems and count of incidents linked to these problems. So the main question is that let us say in, in Jira if you have, uh, I mean if if we talk about ITSM like service desk, service management, ITIL practices, so where people have incidents, so incidents are linked to problems, problems are linked to changes. Now if we talk about incidents, you want to maybe know for each and every incident, let us say you have 10 incidents, uh, how many of problems are also linked to those individual incidents. So if we talk about incident number one, that incident number one can be linked to five problems or um, it should be actually vice versa. <laughs> so basically if you have five incidents uh, and maybe you think that you know, those five incidents can be resolved by raising a problem. So that problem could be, let us say your website is running slow, right? Now if your website is running slow, then uh, you will probably do some investigation and people are raising multiple complaints and you know there are maybe maybe there is an outage or performance issues and uh, you will probably raise a problem so that someone can uh, investigate and when you raise a problem uh, you may want to link those incidents together to a problem and when you have that one problem you will do the investigation and the investigation uh, might tell you that okay we need to probably upgrade the um, or maybe the problem could be that you know website is not working and the and and the out, outcome could be that you have to upgrade your mysql version and that could be a change so you can see here that you know incident is linked to problem multiple incidents are linked to a problem and problem can lead to a change now the, the requirement here is that if you want to count let us say you know let, let us say you have a, you have a simple list of uh, problems or whatever whatever issues you want to see uh, the count of uh, linked issues of a specific type and uh, this is of course not possible using native Jira capabilities and uh, there are of course ways of doing it I'll talk about both so the first thing that you can do is I mean the most simple bare minimum thing that you can do is if you have your Jira issue so you can simply use this gadget called filter results and when you have this filter results gadget you can then um, go to your uh, um, I mean, if you have linked issues, for example, I'll probably create a link so I can show you how it looks like. So I'll link this particular bug to maybe maybe something else uh, if I can find maybe another issue. So yes, link it. And when you link it, if you go back to the original gadget and try to refresh your gadget, you can see here that the linked issue can be displayed and there is a link, right, which is wonderful. Now the thing is that you can actually uh, configure this. So this is basically using filter results uh, gadget and the name of the field is called as linked issues field. So this is of course a very simple way of doing it. The other way of doing it is uh, uh, using an app like EZBI. That would be, uh, because you're looking for a report, I think EZBI should be able to do it. Um, I think I've done something similar. It is. It might not be straightforward, because using EZBI you can, because this particular linked issue field is, uh, is a field which you can definitely import, I believe. Yeah, I think you should be able to do it. And then you can count the number of issues. And maybe you have to write some calculated measures, maybe based on the type of the link, you know, the direction. I Most likely it is possible, but you definitely need, I mean, if you're doing a count, because this, particular gadget is not really going to count the number of links for you uh, but EZBI can do a lot of wonderful things so that is something that I believe you can take a look at yes I do sell EZBI quite a lot and uh, just like script runner because it, it is a good app uh, it is really a nice app to solve a lot of reporting related problems and uh, and I guess uh, you should take a look at it Good thing about uh, these apps is that you can always uh, go to the marketplace and uh, evaluate these apps, try them, play with them. For example, if you go to marketplace, let us look at, for example, EZBI. 
And I think some of these apps are also uh, free for 10 users. So if you want to take a look at their pricing, I guess uh, this one is not really free, but uh, I mean, some of them are free. So even if it is not free, you can always uh, play with it, right? And you can see the number of uh, installs and the ratings. So I think it's a good number, right? I mean, uh, 135 four star rating. So definitely try this app. And uh, in case you want to learn EZBI, I do have like free tutorials, free uh, videos that I have uh, made. And I'm, I'm also making, I mean, ma ma I don't really have like a definite list of one topic or one playlist. All of my videos are ongoing. So there is always something to learn. So if you come to my website, ravisaga.in, um, you will find something new every day. Yes, every day. I make two videos every day. So if you want, you can learn EZBI. Mastering EZBI is the name of the playlist or my free course. All my video courses are free. And you can see here that I have covered, I started making these videos on EZBI. And uh, and you can, of course, you know, try to uh, get the most out of uh, your Jira. I mean, the problem with Jira is that uh, although it's a great tool for doing issue tracking and you can do a lot of other things like you can manage your projects as well but <clears throat> but when it comes to reporting the default reports are not really uh, i mean you can always obviously you know take a look at different gadgets and customize it but when it comes to doing some grouping or calculations or you know cust customized report that is where of course you need to rely on an app like ezb i mean and there are other apps that you can take a look at uh, for reporting uh, I mean, go to marketplace and try it, try it yourself because when you're using these apps, you are basically working within Jira. But uh, if if possible, if you think it is a bit too complicated to do these extreme reporting within Jira, you can always connect your Jira to other external tools like maybe Power BI, or maybe you can set up some kind of a process where you can dump the data from Jira to another tool. Um, Power BI will probably do the same thing. It will read data using REST API, but uh, you can always dump it somewhere else, your own uh, reporting tool or app, but you have the data in, in the in the tool, and that is that is why you should be able to report it. But from my experience, I think uh, an app like EZBI actually covers most of the use cases, and uh, and yes, I do have a course. Please take a look at it. And by the way, if you want, I mean, first of all, please subscribe to my channel. I never really I used to ask people to subscribe, but I think I should. I mean, why not? I mean, I'm making a video for you guys. And I would love to uh, love to get more subscribers. So right now we have less than 5,000 subscribers, but uh, my aim is to reach in millions. So please subscribe to my channel. And also at the same time, I do have this membership program where uh, I will give you free books. Free, uh, yes, I do, do write books. So all the future books will be free for you, for all the active members. So all the books published after February. So I guess uh, any book that I will publish now uh, I will send it to my members for free. And at the same time, I do have a service test, by the way, where people raise tickets for me to you know, help them, support them. Uh, it's, not really a, it's, it's not really a service that I provide, but it's more about uh, if you need two min more than two minutes of my time, you can raise a ticket for me and I will definitely take a look at it. But if you are, a, if you are my member, I will try to revert back to you quickly and on priority. So yeah, you will get these two benefits. So do consider joining my channel. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk, wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.